Hello everyone, very good morning and good evening. Welcome to our game of high flyer sessions. Welcome to the success stories. And today again, we are back with uh, Mr. Rajesh Sharma. So if you have, uh, if you are going through our success stories, we we did a success story almost two years ago with Mr. Rajesh. Rajesh Sharma, when he got placed in one of the company with the package of 8 lakh rupees. Uh, and then I did a, that success story specifically for the people who are the age of 50 plus so that they can understand how they can even start a career at the age of 50 plus as SAP Consulting. Uh, now we want to do this focus on this uh, uh, session to uh, guide you that what and how the SAP jobs would look like when you cross the age of 55 plus because most of the IT company have 55, 56 as a retirement age. And then if you're starting after 50 plus, how the job market would be there after 50, age of 55 and 56, whether market has a acceptability, acceptance for the people for the higher age as a consultant. So that is the major thing I want to highlight it with discussion with the Rajesh. So before going to that discussion, let me give a quick, a little bit more introduction about Rajesh. So uh, Rajesh is a, uh, is a, a linked with Sastra Geek Solution almost for, I think for four years. Uh, at the age of 50 plus, Rajesh thought about of uh, uh, learning of SAP and we are basically, he started learning, he was in Africa, he also did few projects, uh, small projects here and there on SAP, uh, including some uh, mass data projects. And then he wanted to learn more. He got associated with Sastra Geek. We gave a learning path to him and he had done multiple trainings from us, sourcing and procurement, sales and distribution, EWM, Ariba, uh, Activate, multiple different trainings uh, Rajesh did with us. And then Rajesh moved from Africa to India. At that time, when he came to India, he was not having any job. And with our association with Rajesh, he joined us to support onto the content part. He worked for Sastra Geek almost for eight months when we were working with him to make sure that he get placed in a good position, either as a sourcing and procurement or EWM consultant. So he was a content writer. He is actually right now also the content writer. He helped us in the training, some part of the SAP, content writing, blogs writings. He helped us a lot. And then in 2021, he was got placed as an EWM consultant with the package of 8 lakh rupees. Now Rajesh has crossed the age of 56 uh, plus, now he's 56 plus and he's still working and recently he has joined a project uh, uh, that is at the contract position and he is getting a package of 30 lakh plus. So from 8 lakh within two years, uh, his package become 30 lakhs, which is more than four times. So that's the, that's the growth you can look forward if you work onto the right skills on SAP, the package get multiplies. It does not get increased with 10, 20, 30%. It get multiplies with your experience, right? So with that uh, brief introduction, I would like to welcome Rajesh on the game of high flyers. Welcome Rajesh on the game of high flyers. Thank you. Uh, I am happy to come again on Sastrajit platform. And uh, this, uh, this story, I am speaking with you. This uh, only possible by the blessing of the God and uh, the right, uh, uh, right guidance from you. You are the you are my the teacher of uh, Sastrajit uh, the SAP learning because without uh, a good guru you cannot find anything. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, uh, I have made many gurus and I have taken uh, multiple trainings from multiple trainers, but which I feel comfortable with Sastraji that I cannot explain in words. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Which Thank question you. I have got today, mm -hmm. on which position I am uh, using me, so that is only possible with the Sastraji platform. Because they give, I get the way how I can present myself. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. Thank you for your kind words, uh, Rajesh. We we are here because we got a people like you who, who who like and who put a lot of efforts. We we just show the path, right? This is the path you need to go. But it's the individual who need to walk on the path or who need to run on the path. We are always here to support from the different ways to 
so that you can complete your successful career journey and you can grow on that career journey. And But we need individuals like you with the high motivation who can actually run on that path which you have shown it. That's why we are doing this success story to show other people that they see how Rajesh has done and you also can do it, right? So Rajesh, uh, I want to quick uh, speak specific about in this uh, uh, our talk show that what would be happening after the age of 55 plus. So a lot of people are there who is at the age of 50 plus. They are thinking, though, shall I jump into the SAP as a consulting? What will happen? Most of the companies having a 55, 56 as a retirement age, especially the IT companies. So what will happen when the age would be crossed 55? whether I would be able to still work, whether I will be able to still get the opportunities, whether I would be accepted at the higher age as a consultant in the companies. So that is the open question people have. And you have shown that you are 56 plus years of age and you're still working as a SAP uh, uh, senior consultant. Uh, so uh, what is the market acceptance? So when you go with your profile with the higher of age, what kind of feedback you get or whether you get the interview calls or whether people are accepting that profiles, giving a chance to for a work rather than giving one to the younger ones? Yes, sir. This, uh, the same question which you are asking today, the same question I was asking to the trainers <laughs> before four years. Four years, yes. Yeah. How I will establish myself uh, in this age? Hmm. So before uh, connecting with you, uh, the I want to give the credit to bring me in SAP field. That is Mr. Rajiv Agarwal. Rajiv Agarwal, okay. Erudio, Erudio uh, uh, consultant, he is the hair company, and I have made first training with them that SAP ERP 6.0 training. That is the one month uh, training with them. And when I joined that training, they say, the first you do the training, and then you will speak himself okay, what you will get. Mm -hmm. So okay. I am feeling that word today. They say, the what package, and this uh, first uh, they, they told me, that the age is just a number. Mm. If you have the talent, and if you have the uh, 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 if you have the, uh, you want to enhance your skill. So age is just a number. This uh, this never stop you. But uh, due to your age, the people expect more. But if I am going, uh, if you are hire, going to hire to me, and I am fifty plus uh, age group, and another person he is the thirty age group, so uh, the recruiter need difference to what you can give to the organization because the expectation the uh, the expectation of organization is higher uh, than the uh, lower age group so for to complete that expectation mm -hmm. we need to be truthful to ourselves or that truthful will become when we enhance our skill and we always focus on learning and learning in the right way that that is the whether uh, i want to explain that suppose i start the training with you mm -hmm. so first training i will do with better with full strength in mm -hmm. second it will be go down in third it will be go down but after one week mother after seven sessions i will go lenient Mm -hmm. I will I will not join your session. If I join the session, I will do the another work. So, uh, <laughs> that 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 happening. But ninety nine percent person is doing that. Correct. They are You're not. Right. They are not focusing on the training. Only they. Uh, uh, and I want to say that learning of SAP is not a magic stick. But uh, you, it is. If you learn the SAP, so you will get the magic stick. And where you touch, you will get the view. No, nothing. You need to learn and you need to implement this the okay, what you learning you have done and you how you are implementing this in your project. Mm -hmm. This the uh, this is the main thing. 
So only learning and then you have to take the multiple training and I have completed multiple training and I am not getting the job. This always. But, uh, first, I want to explain that the learning of SAP is not a magic stick. But after learning of your SAP, you need to work hard and you need to uh, develop your CV. You need to uh, develop your uh, profile. And uh, you want to think about the, how you can implement this learning in businesses. Yeah. So Rajesh said a very important thing which I want to highlight it, right? So that if an age of 30 uh, guy is coming and if you are coming at the age of 55, it's important for a recruiter that what you bring on the table, right? That's what he's saying, what you bring on the table. So at the age of 30 plus, a guy is coming with the sourcing and procurement and you are also just coming with the sourcing and procurement, then you don't have anything to differentiate yourself. That's what I also uh, ask Rajesh and I also ask people who are coming with the higher number of age or higher number of operation experience that they need to add, they need to make sure that they get themselves differentiated from others so that they can be picked. So that differentiation comes when you cross and when you put a lot of efforts to learn more than one module, uh, you learn, uh, like let's say the Rajesh learns sourcing and procurement, Ariba, EWM. So when you go with that kind of two, three modules package, then you differentiate yourself. Then you have a skill set. And specifically, you are having a skill set of the combination. That combination is rarely available in the market. And you, you show the sound knowledge on that particular thing. Then your profile and CV become different from others. And the acceptability increases. Okay, that's what will be happening, the acceptability 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 would be increasing and people would look forward for you to give you a chance even you are at the higher age right and what happens that you are at the higher age there are few modules which are niche niche which has a lot of demand but the less consultant one of the module rajesh walked on is ewm not uh, uh, so many consultants are there with a very good knowledge ibp is another module uh, tm is another module so that kind of niche module after covering the basic, basic is always necessary, SD, MM, those kind of core modules are always necessary. But on top of that, when you add some knowledge on the niche modules, then you become a differentiator for yourself. And then you get the acceptability in the market. Right? Rajesh, I would also like to ask that now when you cross the 55, a lot of companies would not be giving you a chance as a, as a working as an employee. Right? So what kind of... Uh, uh, things you are doing to get a job. Is it the employment you are getting it now or you are working on to the contract positions? Yes. Uh, I have got uh, uh, the employment opportunity also. Mm -hmm. uh, age, uh, I say ki age is just a number. Mm -hmm. But uh, due to the rules and regulation, the company is uh, having the retirement policy. And uh, if you are working in a production line, so when you get retired, so no, no one is going to hire you. <laughs> but as a consultant, still I am getting every day four or five calls. Four every day four or five calls, underline this, every day four or five calls, even 56 plus years of age, Rajesh is getting it. So it means that market has acceptability and market also has a lot of requirement. Sorry, Rajesh, go ahead. Yes. And uh, every day, four and five calls uh, I am getting. And uh, they don't uh, discuss about the salary. And uh, which I am getting, I have not talked to anybody about salary. I want this salary. They himself, they decide that this salary is a, a need to give Mr. Rajesh. From 8 lakh to 30 lakh. Uh, I have not uh, di discussed about the salary to anyone. So without so even a demand, without even ask, yes. uh, in two years it becomes uh, 8 to 30. Uh, no negotiation. Uh, no, 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 no <laughs> about salary. <laughs> and I have got the salary uh, uh, and, uh, in, uh, in my bank account. Mm -hmm. yeah, so but the... uh, I have never uh, discussed about the salary point. Okay, so so the when, when the, uh, the this uh, um, these things come into the picture, the rules and regulations, and they cannot give you employment. So are you working on a contract position now? Yes, sir. Uh, at present, I'm working as a contract. And the uh, contract is good. 
and uh, the company also comfortable with you and you also comfortable with company company not uh, need to initiate too much and they are getting what they want and if you are if you are giving the position if you are giving the back to the organization so they will think about you and uh, the, uh, the uh, contact is short term this may be one month two month three month but when we start on the project we know that this project definitely will be extended can no no one project will come uh, complete in one month or two month or three month so uh, contact employee con employment is also good it is not a bad and uh, only you need to work if you are giving to the organization the organization will take you right so that that kind of flexibility you need to have if you say that only um, uh, employment position i want i don't want a contract position you need to have flexibility especially when you are higher side of the age but but specifically telling you i myself from last 4 years any employment position comes to me i said no i am only in last 4 years i am only working on to the contract position because that contract position i like more what are the reason we have there are a lot of benefits in the contract position which people does not know because that point came i would like to highlight first thing is that in the contract position you are out out of the a lot of companies policies and regulation which is for the employee so you are out of them okay you are having a relationship with them as a vendor so you are out of the company politics also you are out of the appraisal cycles and other things uh, due to which the managers try to maintain a pressure on you so all, you are out of all of these things right four things you get a lot of tax benefits that's what even i was talking with rajesh before this interview i was trying to explain the package he is getting it 30 lakhs it would be equivalent to 35 or 36 in hand package it will be equivalent to that much of package if we compare to the employment because there is a lot of tax benefits in the uh, contract position you need not to pay tax on to the full amount there is a specific clause into the income tax return which you need to fill it up okay and you actually pay on the contract income you pay uh, income tax only on the 50% up to 2 cr okay the loss can change so before you going with my words go and check it by yourself okay so that a lot of tax benefits are also there which comes to the contract which which can be availed only by the contract positions so contract position is good the the other side of the people other side of the table they like your work you like the work environment it goes any one of them don't like it got break and you need to search for the another contract generally my experience last uh, two years i am working in a in a contract i get a three months contract but from last two years it is keep on extending 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 okay so that kind of things would be there so if you are at the hard side of the age make sure you are open for the freelancing you are open for the contract position also and believe me uh, if you have a right skill set with the contract you will definitely get more than the salary even though there are the tax benefits aside, apart from the tax benefits also whatever the salary you will get if you have a right skill set you will be getting more money than the employment don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos so rajesh one another question i have and i always wanted to ask to you at this age what motivates you to keep on learning to keep on working i see you are a content writer rajesh has written so many good blogs for the sastra geek solutions he is also writing it onto the sap uh, platforms also so what keeps you moving even you don't have any contract you are not working but still you are very active on the linkedin you are writing a lot of blogs for us you are writing a lot of things other way you are adding new skills so what is the core of the motivation uh, yes for that i want to say ki this i have learned from you <laughs> what is what is the learning uh, when i complete the training with you so you tell me you make the promise with me that you need to do something for the community mm -hmm. right for this purpose i have joined the sit the sap community and every one should join the sap community group so on that you will get the right uh, uh, mala you will read the blogs there and you will read the questions there you will read the uh, you will uh, find the problems which they are facing in day to day operation of the sap uh, modules 
in a specific modules in your uh, film so you will get the questions to how the business getting issues and how the people going uh, uh, solve that one so when i start write the blogs with the uh, shastra ji so i uh, when i uh, write the blog so i uh, study something and when i get this uh, when i do the study at that time i get the uh, i want to fill the gap which i have in, in myself mm -hmm. and due to that gap when i fill that gap and i make the study and now today i am able to reply the solution of the uh, issues which uh, which uh, the business uh, feel so uh, my answer for that issue is acceptable now in many questions i have reply on that uh, uh, in in that uh, platform sap community platform so my question, my answer of that questions it appreciated and accepted so this only uh, happen by writing the blogs you go when you want to write something so you need to read something yeah so the very good point uh, uh, rajesh made so the the motivation comes to help the community so when you go to help the community and to helping the community he is writing the blogs and uh, uh, a, a, a lot of another content he is creating and when you create that content to create that content you need to put some effort there with that effort you learn a lot right if you write one blog or one part of the content you write it out it will be definitely helping others who would be reading it out but the most benefit who gets it the authors get it because when you are writing it your 10 15 different doubts will get clear and that things will go into your blood if somebody will wake you up in the night and will ask about on that topic you would be able to speak you would be able to tell because you have created a content on that topic okay you have researched for that content you have built that content that gives a lot of confidence in you and that also motivates you to create more okay so uh, so what what are the another benefits you would like to highlight uh, rajesh for the content creation i always motivate my trainees to create a lot of content to get it shared over the linkedin but what kind of benefits because you have actually gone into the path you have actually done all the things which i have said asked you to do over the linkedin or the blog site so how do you see the difference uh, uh, after writing the blogs when you go somewhere whether people recognize you or whether your uh, 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 network has been increased or the knowledge has been increased what kind of more benefits you see from writing a blog uh, the writing of blogs is uh, this uh, help me to solve the issues in uh, businesses when i am working on implementation project and i have work on support project also so that blog writing help me a lot mm -hmm. and uh, especially to face the interview Mm -hmm. so when you are speaking in front of the interviewer so they, they recognize you previously when i was not joined with uh, shastra ji at that time if i get the uh, interview call so that interview call finish within 5 minutes <laughs> i remember that discussion with you we <laughs> went from uh, in 2 months we went from 5 minutes interview calls to the 45 minutes interview call but now the selection is the separate issue if i am not selected this uh, i am not uh, uh, bother about that but now interview session always cross 45 minute and 50 minute mm -hmm. right so uh, it means that if when uh, when the interview uh, time is going crossing so it means that people want to listen you <laughs> right correct So this is the benefit. Yeah. So seriously, okay. seriously, the interviewer say, "Okay, okay, anything from my side, if you <laughs> want to ask." <laughs> so now say, now interviewer say, "He, I want to ask more, but I have the limitation of the time." <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that's very good. So you have because when you are creating a content, you have a lot of things in your mind to speak about. Because uh, Rajesh, if you will see, if you go into our Sastra gig, you will see. I think. more than 20 30 blogs you have written rajesh right 
a lot of work has been done on the LinkedIn by uh, Rajesh. He has increased his network like anything. And when he goes into the market with his writings, people recognize, okay, you are that Rajesh Sharma who is writing these blogs coming over the LinkedIn or the multiple places. And when people recognize you on the unconscious brain, they already like you. And they then in the interview, they try to find out the reason that try to find three, four reasons to select Rajesh. Right. So that gives a lot of good impact. And I also ask people to write blogs, create very good content over the LinkedIn and also mention in their CVs that these kind of blogs writing also you have done. So that's always helped. So Rajesh, what is the next game? What are the next things you are working on? How I, I always tell the people, as Rajesh said, age is the, just a number that does not stop you for learning, for progressing. So what is your next game? So as I explained that, the learning process never stops. If you want to be in industry, especially in IT industry, if you think that which you have learned, so this is enough. No. Mm -hmm. In IT industry, you can establish only if you always upgrade yourself. Mm, that's correct. So for that, but when we start learning, at that time we don't know what we need to learn. But when we start the work, we know what is the what is the which specific learning we need. So uh, now I am uh, I am in the market. I am working on the support project. I am working on the implementation project. So I feel that I need to focus on new that BTP technology, the business te te technical platform. Mm -hmm. So right. uh, my next target and to work on the Fury application. This is the latest technology on which I am feeling that I am left behind from others. So for that, um, I am going to focusing on Fury application, especially the implementation in how we can implement the Fury. So this is the next target. And I think Sastrajit will uh, help me again because I always want to be a student. I don't want to be a teacher. <laughs> even i myself is a student there's no uh there's no day anyone there's no year when i'm not uh, enrolled for some some of the training programs including sap known sap uh to upskill myself into the different things i don't see that any year in last 10 to 15 years has been left where i myself not become a student to learn so that's very true word rajesh what you said you need to be always a student and I'm very happy that you are going forward for the new technology. SAP BTP is one of the buzzword in the market. If you if you capture it, definitely you. I can guarantee you if you can work on those area which you spoke. Fury we can definitely help. We have a, a Fury for functional consultant training that would be definitely helping you. Uh, BTP trainings we don't have it, but you are. I know that you are you are searching outside and taking a training from SAP Labs on the BTP. Those things if you will work. Definitely, there is no stop. Next five, seven, ten years, you would be still getting a better, better opportunities, and you will see that very soon you would also be getting opportunities from outside India, sitting into sitting in India, consulting them, and uh, it's a fraction of time that the thirty will convert into forty lakh, and forty will convert into a fifty lakh of package. It will not take much time, and those kind of packages are available within India also. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So that's a very good thing. You are working on BTP on the Fury. That's the advanced technologies everybody should work on to learn them. So uh, with that, uh, uh, Rajesh, I would be ending our today's uh, interview. Uh, I'm very thankful that you have joined uh, this session with us and you have motivated others, specifically the people who are at the higher side of the age showing them the path that what can be done and uh, the acceptability is there in the market if you have the right skill set and if you have zeal to work. So thank you very much for joining this uh, session, Rajesh. I, I, I'm really grateful that you have joined and share your experiences. Thank you. So all of the viewers, thank you everyone for giving your time for this uh, uh, chat. We will be coming back with the next Game of Firefly episode with the next success story very soon. Stay tuned. Thank you and bye-bye.